Welcome to the first Coach Crocker show of the year. Uh, I know it's a hugely busy week for you guys, yep. and there's a lot going on, and I appreciate you taking some time Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, between between practice and all the stuff of getting 120 some odd guys together, yep. uh, I know this is I know this is a big uh, a big week for you, but I but really do appreciate you taking some time, yep. and uh, we're excited we're excited to see football. I know you are too. It's yep. been a long time since you've had a game. It has. When was the last time you coached in a game that uh, actually counted? You the uh, end of uh, fall twenty one. So it's been almost two years. Yeah, now. real game. Yep. So, and obviously you had some experience last year. Yep. Um, just to just can you draw a little bit on how much that experience from last year is going to help some of your guys in this in this moment as yeah. opposed to just starting cold. Yeah, I think anytime you get to play in any sort of game situation, it can help. You know, just to, from an experience standpoint, regardless of what kind of game it was, um, just anything against another opponent with game like scenarios will will help those guys you know um but you know on the on the flip side is a lot of the guys we have that will be playing for us are also brand new so they did not get that experience last year okay and that, and that's uh that's a big question obviously you've got some some young guys you you, you seemed over the course of uh last year to be excited about the group you're you're bringing in as you look at the group um how have they pushed your returners and then how have your returners kind of imparted some wisdom on them? Yeah, I think it's been a little bit of give and take. You know, we, we wanted all of our returners to be the guy at their positions, you know, just because, you know, they got a year under their belt, you know, sort of, um, you know, but and, they, and those guys really did step up. There are quite a few of them who, you know, did not let a, a first year guy come in and just take that spot from them. Um, again, on, on the other hand, they, we had some first years come in the door who, you know, sort of grabbed the bull by the horns and, you know, said, I'm going to take this spot. And they did. As you, uh, as you go through this week, obviously you're looking to prepare for a season, yep. but you're also looking to prepare for, a, for an opponent for yep. the first time. Uh, what did you guys see looking forward to the TCNJ game? Yeah, um, they're an established program. Um, they have been for years. Um, you know, when you look at, you know, they're too deep compared to our too deep, it's fifth year seniors and seniors and juniors all over. They're too deep on both sides of the football and, and that's not us. You know, we are sophomore for, sophomores and, and a lot of first years on our too deep. So and you, you literally have a, a veteran group um, playing against a, a very inexperienced and young group. And I think that's the biggest thing that we looked at is trying to figure out how to put our young players, you know, in, in, a, in a potential where they have a shot to, to compete. Is there, is there an advantage to the fact that like TC and J when they go to scout you, they, there's, there's nothing? Um, yes and no. I think this day and age of college football, you'll find what you need. Um, okay. You know, I'm sure they did their homework as, as I've done in the past. You go to where, you know, the coaches came from. You know what I mean? They, I'm sure they looked um, at the places myself and our staff has been to try to get an idea of what we may do schematically. You know what I mean? And, um, but they're also a team, if you watch them a little bit, is they're going to do what they do. Without giving away too much. Mm -hmm. uh, as you as you're coaching a bunch of 18 and 19 year olds instead yeah. of 21 and 22 year olds, yeah. how do you how do you teach the game differently, or it, is it just the same? No, it's much different. Uh, you really really got to spend a majority of your time on s things that I believe in, like techniques and fundamentals, and you got to get at those things first before you can get into the the schematics, you know and you know, a more veteran group can handle maybe some more things schematically because of all the adjustments that may have to come into play. Whereas you got a young team, you know, they can't see some of those adjustments like the older guys do based on experience. So you got to, you know, you got to keep things pretty simple. Um, and, you know, you really got to focus on letting them just sort of rely on, on the physical, you know, attributes that they have. Great. You, um as you look at the personality of your team, 
uh, you don't need to give me names, but do you feel like you've got some guys who are just like uber competitive who are gonna who are gonna drive? Absolutely, yeah. I think there's especially some of our returners. You know, we we do have some guys who are competitive, and and you're gonna see it, and, and that's gonna be our job as coaches is to manage manage that where it's an advantage for us or we can use it as a strength and but also not let it become something that can hurt our team you know what i mean like we're you know i, I think everyone knows we're gonna we're gonna hit a lot of adversity this year right. you know and, and just in every game and that's that's really any sport in general mm -hmm. but i think especially with this year and this this young young team that we're gonna have adversity in every game we face right and our competitiveness has to be used as a positive and not to take away from you know what we're trying to get done. What do you think is the biggest test for your young group? Um, I think honestly, I, I don't think any of the outside factors will matter. To be honest, I think that actually get them more excited okay. to actually play in front of a crowd. Finally, um, I think it'll just be the speed and the physicality of the game. Okay. Um, it's things are going to go a lot faster than they're used to, faster than you can ever simulate in practice. Um, that only game experience can help you with. And then I think just the physicality of what this is going to be. Again, it's just the age disparity. I think is the biggest part of, of that. Of that. So you've had some new guys coming to the staff. Yep. Uh, how do you feel that they fit in with your great your experience? Absolutely group? great. Um, I think I think it's an amazing staff. I think I'm super lucky to have them. They all do a great job. Colin Scott at at our offensive line has been a huge huge addition for us. Trying to you know mold that young young offensive line um, and he's done a fantastic job he's a great teacher of that position detail wise fundamentally but also a huge asset to, to Nate um, schematically on offense you mentioned the offensive line yep offensive line defensive line are the two spots where experience would seem to be a big big test yes how will you know when it's going well um, you know, I think if you watch, you know, up front offensive line wise, if we can run the ball a little bit, if we can give our quarterback enough time to throw the ball down the field, because um, I do feel we have skill um, on the perimeter, um, right. but we got to give that quarterback time. I think if we can give him time to get the ball out to where it needs to go, if we can hit some runs, I think the offensive line will gain some confidence from that. Yeah. You know, defensively, uh, what are your keys to stopping them? Um, I think it's. For us, it's um, are we going to tackle well? Okay. You know, again, they're going to be bigger and more physical than us, and you know, we have to have multiple people at the point of attack. We can't just have one guy all the time because you know that's hard. You know, yeah. when you're going against bigger, stronger, faster, we have to have multiple guys, you know, in on that tackle instead of just one all the time. And then I think it's everyone being on the same page, doing their job, and if you know, if we can just make them earn it on defense like if they're good enough to go 12 15 play drive and score right. points um then good for them uh, but we can't give up the the cheap ones the one two play drive for a score because um, mm -hmm. i think that will hurt same thing on the other side of the ball I, 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 football at any level to me seems like not giving the opponent short fields. Yep. Um, if you can end a possession with a kick it yep. seems like you've done good work yep. um, what do you think like is are you, you obviously can't go into a game with the mentality of don't make mistakes, mm -hmm. but you also need to say, okay, we need to manage situations. And yeah. uh, um, how, is that, how is that something you're going to set up? Yeah, no, I think it's, you know, we're going to go out and we're going to do our, our thing. You know what I mean? We're not going to change, you know, we're not going to change the way we operate, you know, and, you know, just to change the, you know, the outcome of the game necessarily. Like, we'll do some things here and there. Um, but I think, you know, you, if you play cautious, you're going to get cautious outcomes. Right. You know what I mean? And, you know, our, our intent is to go in every game this year and, and try to win. You know, and if yeah. you're not going to try to do that, then why are you, why are you playing? Um, so we're going we're gonna to be aggressive on both sides of the football. And yeah. we're going to lay it out there and see, see what this, this young team has. That's great. Well, Coach, I really appreciate you taking Thanks, some time Dan. with us appreciate today. Appreciate it. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing Saturday. Awesome. We're excited.